Hello, my name is John Dobson. I'm the Flowcode project manager and the chairman of Matrix TSL. At Matrix, we've been developing educational resources for teaching engineering for more than 30 years now. And in this video, I want to make you a presentation on what our vision for the teaching of modern digital electronics is and how Flowcode fits in to that vision. Teaching Modern Digital Electronics. Our mission is that we give engineers the skills and tools they need to create amazing electronic systems. We supply lots of different types of customers. We have tens of thousands of makers and students who use flow code for learning and for hobbies. We have hundreds of educators, so lots of different colleges and universities all over the world including some of the most prestigious universities like Brunel and Heriot Watt. And we also supply flow code to lots of professional engineers from some of the biggest companies and organizations in the world. The great advantage of being present in these markets is that we understand the skills that modern engineers need. And we don't just train electronic engineers, we train mechanical engineers, automotive engineers, and all engineers really need an understanding of electronic systems these days. We supply software, hardware and curriculum and we work in the eight areas you can see here. For embedded systems, we supply hardware based on our eBlocks platform, uh, software based on flow code and we have curriculum to go with it. And we support many different types of microcontroller, including Arduino, PIC, ESP and so on. We have a great offering for robotics. Our Orco buggy is fantastic for simple line solving, uh, maze solving, and other tasks. We have a robot arm based on a PIC32, and also we have a kinematic model inside Flowcode for those who want to go further. Music technology is a really motivating way of teaching students. That uses the Flowcode data flow paradigm and a new piece of hardware called SysBlocks, which is a recent release. We take that a stage further for university students to allow them to understand DSP, FFT, Nyquist, and so on. Again, using the data flow paradigm within flow code and a single SysBlocks board, and there's full curriculum support. SysBlocks are also used with flow code for teaching communications and digital radio, and it's amazing how much they can learn about digital communications, including all those different modulation schemes you can see here. Flowcode is fantastic for test, control and projects, which are certainly a major part of all electronic engineering degrees. Flowcode is compatible with lots of low-cost hardware. Um, here you can see a prototype board with an Arduino. And this is a, a great way for students to carry out projects. For FPGA programming, we offer some hardware based on Altera's chips, and we use this fantastic bit of software called Quartus, which is from Altera themselves. And again, there's full curriculum for that course. Flowcode is at the heart of much of this. And with Flowcode, there are three different applications. Flowcode Embedded, PC Developer, and Web Developer. The embedded software is compatible with more than 1700 microcontrollers from lots of different families of, of chip, um, compatible with our own hardware and third-party hardware. Our eBlocks hardware provides in-circuit debug and ghost. And there are huge libraries, components, and lots of information to go with that to help students learn. PC Developer allows students and engineers to develop fantastic human machine interfaces that link into low cost hardware like Raspberry Pi, Arduino, and ESP32. And you can see some of the results here. Matrix uses this software for all of its own internal PC applications. We take that a stage further when we allow students to develop. JavaScript based software that runs in a browser and that enables them to use their mobile phones to control low cost hardware like Raspberry Pi and DSP32 that are web ready. Flowcode is very successful at teaching students programming and embedded systems. 
And one of the reasons for that is that it includes multiple programming paradigms. So you, you can program in flowcharts, you can program in pseudocode, in blocks, or in C code, and you can transfer seamlessly between each of these. Flowcode is really good at teaching students C code because it simulates and they can see the flowchart equivalent. You can enter C code programs using Flowcode if you want to. Flowcode has a full simulation engine, and that's a fantastic way of learning. Uh, it's also faster in terms of developing programs. It's easier, more motivating, and allows students to go further. And here you can see a simulation of a graphical display inside Flowcode. There's a massive library, 550 components and more than 5,000 subroutines, and all of the code here is validated by matrix staff and you can get support on that code. There's a lot of different mechanisms of getting support from Flowcode. There is a huge wiki, which is basically a big help system, and that includes all sorts of information about every single component and lots of examples, more than 300 examples uh, of Flowcode programs. There's a forum. Anybody can post on our forum and get a reply. This is manned by both volunteers and by matrix staff. So it's a great resource when you get stuck. There's a growing YouTube channel with lots of videos on projects and how to, how to do the basic and advanced functions inside Flowcode. We have a growing number of application notes which are designed for professional engineers. And these are based on the RS DesignSpark portal. We also offer training to all customers. In the UK, that's face-to-face. -face. Uh, abroad, it's using Zoom or Teams. So hopefully that shows you how Flowcode can help you teach your students and to give them a great deal of success in learning electronics. If you're an electronics teacher, we'd love to show you Flowcode on a Zoom or Teams call. Just get in touch with our sales team. Thank you for watching.